is helping me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus I believe his light can shine through me I can do the things that he does I can love like Jesus
is better than you. Come on, sing that to Jesus this morning. There is nothing, no, there's no better than you. There is nothing better than you. There is nothing, nothing is better than you. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Love each other as I have loved you. John 15, 12. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun. just in time for the grand opening of the Clubhouse Car Wash. The brushes really move like in a real car wash. Let's see how many cars we have to wash today. Count them with me. One, two, three, four, and five. Are you ready for them to go through the car wash? If you are, shout, go cars, go! Go cars, go! Wow, that was loud. Here we go. Wow, that was so much fun. Look how shiny and clean they are. Ho, ho! It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Ho, ho. Washing cars, are you? It's so much fun to make them bright and shiny and clean. Washing cars is fun. It's true. I know a story about washing, too. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. Hola friends, I'm Luis the Handyman. So happy to see you today. Check out this car. It belongs to my friend Arturo. I'm helping him fix it because the wheels aren't working. Oh, <laughs> and that's what you do to be a good friend. You help them. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you wanna help me build it? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. It was the night he had all his friends, the disciples, with him at dinner. His friend John was there, and Matthew, and Peter. They all were at the table. Then Jesus took a towel and knelt down by his friends. Do you know what Jesus was doing? He was about to wash his friend's feet. His friends had been walking around dusty roads all day and their feet were dirty. <laughs> Everyone say, ew! Ready? <gasps> ew! <laughs> yep, talk about a stinky job. <laughs> now, we need to fill up the bowl with water. Can you guys take your pretend buckets 
and help me fill the bowl with water? Ready? One, two, three. Ah, good job. <laughs> now Jesus has water. Then Jesus washed his friend's feet. Huh. Can you believe that? Jesus is so important. He is God's son. Why would someone so important wash his friend's feet? Hmm. Because he wanted to show his friends that he loved them. And you're never too important to love others by doing something for them, like washing their feet. Everyone say, wow. Ready? Wow. Jesus is a good friend. <laughs> hmm. Let's think for a minute. If we wanted to be a good friend like Jesus, what could we do to show love to other people around us? What if you're playing outside and your neighbor friend wants to play on your favorite scooter? Do you let them? <laughs> yes, you share your favorite scooter. That is being a good friend. What if there's a long line to get a turn in the bouncy house, but there's a little kid behind you who's really excited to bounce. Do you let them go in front of you? <laughs> yes, you let them go in front of you. That is being a good friend. You already know lots of ways to be a good friend. So start your engines and let's go, go, go and love people like Jesus did. So let's be good friends. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus loved by being a good friend, and we can be a good friend too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, even though Jesus is God's son, he got down and washed his friend's dirty feet. We can do kind things for our friends too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. This car wash is so cool. I could keep it to myself, but I'm gonna go find my friends and let them play with it too. I'll see you next time. Hello friends. Hi, my name is Vicki and I'm here to tell you a true story from the Bible. Today's true story from the Bible begins with Jesus. It was the night he had all of his friends, the disciples with him at dinner. His friend John was there and Matthew and Peter and they were all at the table. Then Jesus took a towel. Do you see it in the image? Do you see the towel? Then Jesus knelt down do you know what Jesus was about to do? Yes, he was about to wash the feet of his friends. Yes, his friends had walked around the dusty roads all day in sandals and their feet were dirty. Can everyone say ew, ew. Talk about a stinky job. <laughs> do you see it in the next image? Good job. Then Jesus washed his friend's feet. Can you believe it? Jesus is so important. He is God's son. Why would someone so important wash his friend's feet? Do you know why? Because Jesus wanted to show his friends that he loved them and that you're never too important to love others by doing something for them, like washing their feet. Can everyone say, wow? Wow. <laughs> In our next image, we see that Jesus is a good friend. Let's think for a minute. 
if we wanted to be a good friend like Jesus, what could we do to show love to other people around us? What if you're playing outside and your neighbor friend wants to play with your favorite scooter? Do you let them play with your favorite scooter? Yes! You share your favorite scooter. That is being a good, good friend. What if there's a long line to get into the bouncy house? But there's a little kid behind you who's really excited and wants to bounce. Do you let them go in front of you? Yes! You will let them go in front of you. That is being a good friend. You already know lots of ways to be a good friend. So start your engines and let's go, go, go and love people like Jesus did. Let's be good friends. So tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Let's try that again, let's try that again. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus, yes, you can. You can be a good friend and love like Jesus. So, okay friends, I have another challenge this week for you. Our memory verse this week is from John 15 and it says, love each other as God has loved you. Can you say that with me? Love each other as God has loved you. Great job, friends. I'm so proud of each of you. So let's pray. Jesus, thank you for loving us. Always help us to be a good friend this week and love like others and love others the way that you love us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So, for our challenge, I want you to send me your video. Tell mom or dad or your guardian to send your video or a letter to the email below, okay? And we can't wait to see you doing the memory verse. Remember, it's John 15, 12. Love each other as God has loved you. I can't wait to see your videos. Bye, friends.